4.8 hertz is also pitch, isn't it? Or the term used to describe the frequency per second of a sound wave. And holy smokes, that is either infrasonic below 20 hertz or ultrasonic above 20,000 hertz. I need to stop for this. Let's keep going. Um, okay, nerd. So, anyway, what's this map here for? The coordinates on here. So, I guess we could use the answer from the Doppler shift problem and use the coordinates on this map. Let's see, 70 degrees north and 80 degrees west. I guess I'd be right there. That should be where our next clue would be. Good job, Albert. Let's, Let's go. go to our next location. Whoa, there's a tape recorder here. Let's play and see what it says. We just learned this jump last week. You used the death blue equation. Alright, so beta equals 10 log i over i o to find beta. Now let's see. Since the freak was whispering, his intensity is 1 times 10 to the negative 10 watts per meter squared. And the threshold of hearing, which is, um, what is it? Oh, yeah. 1 times 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared. So if we put that into the equation, beta equals 10 log i, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 10 watts per meter squared, over 1 times 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared we get beta equals 20 decibels so he's talking at a total of 20 decibels okay we found out now what if you're only a little bit louder then we wouldn't be in this mess what you mean loud what's loudness to you anyway well if i recall loudness is a measurement of intensity of sound and the perceived impression of intensity, or frequency, and duration of sound. What now? Congratulations, children. Now that you have solved this, take 20 steps backwards, and you shall find this sheet hung up. This sheet contains a secret passageway. Find it, and if you dare, walk through it. 1, 2, 3, 18, 19, 20. Here's the sheet, guys. Find the secret passageway. Golly, see, I think I found it, guys. Oh, nah, yo, the geek's gone. Yo, stay calm. We can do I told this. you. Dare to walk through, and you did. Now yell to her through the sealed door and figure out the velocity. If you are smart enough, you won't have to figure anything out. Goodbye. And, oh yes, you must hurry because your friend is being suffocated in an enclosed area with gallons of poisonous gas being flowed towards her. We have to do this. Who knew Willis' stuff would be useful in life? Let me think. All right, I got it. Sound travels at 343 meters per second in air. 1,482 meters per second in water. So what is it in steel? I know that one, fool. It's 5,916 meters per second in steel. Oh yeah, let me try that. 5,960, enter. Why didn't it work? We found all the speeds of sound through different mediums. Let her out, freak! Let her out! Where is she? <laughs> Are you okay? This guy does not give up, does he? Let me see your ear. Okay, do whatever it takes. Just get me out of here. Well, I kind of remember this. Any source of sound sends vibrations or sound waves into the ear. These funnel through the ear opening down the ear canal and strike your eardrum, causing it to vibrate. The vibrations are passed through the small bones of the middle ear, which transmit them to the hearing nerve in the inner ear. Here, the vibrations become nerve impulses and go directly to the brain, which interprets the impulses as sound, or in this case, music. I didn't know you were that smart. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent job, guys. Now that we know how to detect sound, what do we do next? Look, guys. I hear something. 
Now here's a clip from my favorite TV show, American Idol. But all these people are all fools. I'll let you guys figure out what's wrong with it here. Here's a hint, students or kids. Assume the two singers have the same pitch and loudness. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box. To the left. That's my closet. That's my stuff. Yes, if I bought it. Please don't no, touch it. I didn't want to see us together, but it don't matter, no. Cause I got you. Man, these guys are horrible. Well, that's not the point, Albert. We have to figure out what's different about them. It seems to me that they both have the same pitch and loudness, yet they sound so different. So that means that they both have different qualities of sound. For example, when you have a trumpet and a clarinet, they can both be playing the same note and be equally loud, yet they sound so different because both instruments are made of different materials, so each resonates differently. So maybe with these two girls, their vocal cords are shaped differently. That's why they sound so different. Very well. I'm impressed. And now, like I promised, I shall give you your next clue. See that guitar in the corner? You must explain the ways you produced on this guitar and what they are. Not only that, to complete this task, you must play a song that I'm familiar with. Farewell. I knew 